Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa viongozi wenzangu mabibi na mabwana hamjambo you know, it's, it feels so good to be back home si ndio yeah. huh? it feels so fresh to be back home nikisimama hapa nakumbuka enzi zangu kama gavana wenyu wa kilifi <laughs> huh? mimi mwanzo nataka nimshukuru mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa naibu rais kwa kukubali mwito wa kuja na kusimama na sisi wakati ambapo tunahitaji mtu ambaye anaweza kutupatia bega la kuegemea si ni nadra sana kupata mtu wa kujitolea kupatia bega la kuegemea wakati tunahitaji wengi sana utapata na kuja wakati wa karamu kwa hivyo tunasema shukran kubwa uh, naibu rais kwa kuchukua wakati wako na kuja kuwa na sisi. Meda ni shirika ambalo usimamizi wao ama wake uko na uwazi mwingi. Ile hela ambayo utaipeana hapa unaweza kulala usingizi ukijua wazi kwamba pesa ile itatumika kwa minaji ile ile sababu ambayo ilikuwa imepeana. There is a lot of transparency and accountability in this foundation called meda wakati mwanzo mimi nilikuja na kujua shirika hili ni wakati nilipokuwa gavana wa kilifi and what attracted me more to meda is the aspect of scholarship and youth empowerment because i had gone through as a student both in high school and and in the university I had gone through a lot of pain raising fees. Na nakumbuka hata huyu gavana wenyu ambaye ni gavana wenyu sahi who he was a mayor then and by that time I was a student in the University of Nairobi and I remember going to his parlor his office at the mayor's parlor in Malindi. Na uh, Mungaro then the mayor alinisaidia kama kijana kutoka pwani ili nimalize masomo yangu. Yeah. How I wish that I knew Meda then, because certainly, certainly Meda would have stood with me uh, in my journey for my, my academic journey. Kwa hivu kitu mbacho kilinivutia mwanzo ni hiyo scholarship. There are many students, very bright students in Kilifi, but from very poor backgrounds. Their dreams get shattered because their parents cannot afford to take them through the academic uh, journey. And MEDA comes in to lend the much needed uh, shoulder to lean on. Kama Gavana Wakatule, Tulikuwa na Kiti, Yakusaidia Watoto Nabasari. But as government, who is he Kusaidia Kila Kijana? So MEDA became a natural partner to the county government and still is a natural partner to the county government to fill that gap that the county government may not be able uh, to, to, to reach. Kwa hivyo, kwa ngumimi nilipo jua MEDA kila mwaka likuwa sikosi kuja hapa. Ili kuchanga na MEDA, nikijua wazi kwamba yule kijana ambaya natapatapa wakati mi kama mimi lipokuwa natapatapa when I was a student at least anaweza kupata fueni kupitia mkono wa meda. Kitu tu ambacho nataka ni peane as an advice going forward because we love meda and we'll always support meda. Please, divorce politics from meda. We love this baby called meda. And the moment mukianza kuingiza siyasa tu hapa kwa meda, you're going to make this baby crawl. And I'm saying this because in 2022, I saw something that shocked me of MEDA. But then I was exiting as the governor of Kilifi County and had been invited here. And as usual, nikasema ngoje niende manake, to me it was a ritual. Kila mwaka lazima nije ni changie MEDA. But before I left Kilifi, nikapata masimu. Kwa magavana, hata usitubuthu kufika hapa. Manake, hata mapambo ya hafla hii, 
si ile meda unajua everything had been turned orange so nikajiuliza okay i love meda so much and i really want to support meda but the environment was made so hostile that any reasonable leader will say acha ikae and nikasema kwa sababu sitaki twende tukarushiane makelele katika hafla muhimu kama meda let me stay in kilifi so for the first time i stayed away from meda barisi nilikuwa toka siku hiyo na jihukumu because ule mchango ambao ulikuwa nimebeba ni uleta hapa meda how many kids never or lost a chance to go to school because i withheld that donation of that particular year na nikasema ngoja nipige moyo konde yalopita yamepita ngoja mwaka huu niende nikachange na Mwenyezi Mungu akutupatie uhai kila mwaka tutakuwa hapa kuwachangia tutamed but please divorce politics from this baby called Meda. This baby is a fantastic baby and he can do so well if only we put politics aside. We come together. So naona vile tulivyo hapa. Eh? Naibu Rais Kenya kwanza. Governor wetu Azimio. Mbunge wetu hapa ni mchanganyiko maalum. But we are here for one cause. Cause you can get these objectives women affairs hapo hakuna uda ama Kenya kwanza ama azimio it's women affairs period if you look at capacity building we are not capacity building azimio or Kenya kwanza early childhood environmental conversation youth empowerment sinbad park scholarship you read all these programs and objectives hakuna pale unaingiza azimio ama Kenya kwanza so let us rally behind meda as humanity not be because we belong here or there nikimalizia kwa sababu nataka tumpatie wakati mzuri uh uh naibu rais your excellency let me take this opportunity for and on behalf of the people of this region coast to say thank you for the program you've started drug abuse is a major menace in this part of the country madawa ya kulevia na ndugu zangu ni tuzungumze ukweli madawa ya kulevia ni janga hapa pwani na naibu wa rais umejitolea wazi kupigana nalo kuna wengi walijaribu hii safari na ikafika pahali wakachilia kwa sababu ya kutishwa kushurutishwa lakini wewe umejitolea na umesema liwe liwalo hili jinamizi la madawa ya kulevya ya kulevya lazima tulizike katika kaburi la sahau we thank you for that and as a leadership from this region we will stand with you mzee famao iko hapa mzee famao huu naibu rais huu mzee hiyo safari ya kupigana na madawa huzungumza paka kalia you know he is a great ambassador of the anti drug uh, movement within this region na bila shaka going forward as we talked tukiwa mombasa as a leadership of this region we will stand